Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a very simple learning management system based on SharePoint Online, Power Automate and Microsoft Forms. We are going to look at a simple use case. Let's say a new employee joins the company and uh, this employee has to review some onboarding documentation. Then uh, when the document is reviewed, an employee puts a check mark or clicks somewhere you know, to send an acknowledgement uh, to a special list and this acknowledgement is stored in SharePoint list for audit purposes. So let's say uh, this employee manager would know that this new employee has completed onboarding. This is very simple, uh, but you might uh, use it for your companies just um, as, a, as an option. Um, instead of buying third-party software, you can just do it simple with uh, already uh, possible uh, services which are included in your licensing. So let's have a look how can we do it. First, uh, we will need to create uh, a form. So in this form, I uh, just create, I go to forms.microsoft.com and uh, create a simple form. Uh, new employee onboarding and uh, let's say I uh, just uh, I choose a choice question here and uh, let's say um, uh, any feedback you would like to provide Have you reviewed reviewed your onboarding documentation? Yes, no. And then the next question could be please provide feedback. Yes. Okay. So this is a very simple form that can be shared and it will be embedded in my SharePoint page later. It can be made much more complex and more interesting, but this is just for you to get an idea. Uh, after reviewing the uh, necessary documents, an employee would go here and click on yes and probably provide some feedback if uh, he or she wants to. So when the form is ready, then we do the next step. The next step would be create a SharePoint site. This site will be our um, learning management portal where the employee would go to. So I create a site. In this case, I'm going to use a communication site. It has a little bit nicer visuals. Um, simple LMS. So LMS stands for learning management system. Yes, now the site has been created. It takes a little bit to create the site. So now the site is ready. Let's say this is our uh, special uh, site. And um, uh, I uh, need to uh, store this onboarding document somewhere. So I uh, let's say I go to documents and uh, in the documents I uh, store a document which I already pre-created. It's called uh, new employee. This is a very simple um, file with there is not, not much content there. This is just for you to get an idea. So the document that has to be reviewed is here. Now I can go ahead and create a subtitle, some type of a, a page for this course. Go here and uh, I just uh, select blank page and I call it onboarding documentation review. 
I can put some information here. Please review the following documents. And now I can add a web part, which is file viewer. And this file viewer, I take this recent document I just uploaded, put it to this web part. Yes, so the documents are document will be visible here. We can edit. Start from the slide one. Um, th this is just a, a simple document. Uh, you know, of course, you can have it more complex, uh, update something, etc. And then one more point, what we can do here after the document is reviewed, then an employee can fill in the form. Microsoft Forms, there is a web part here. And uh, I can so I copy this form and paste it. This is not a valid link. Okay, try one again. One second. Let's try URL from Microsoft Forms. Add existing form. Get a link to view. Oh, this is the link to view. So this should be link. Uh, I need to figure it out, so I'll pause the recording and get back to you in a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so I figured it out. Basically, what we need to do is just to copy uh, this URL from the from the browser instead of go and share and then copy this one. Uh, if you copy from the browser, then you can insert it uh, to the form address. Yeah, so the form is, is here basically. Okay, so this is a very simple page. We can have some instructions here. Please review the following documents and uh, submit the form after completion. Then there is the, the actual document to review and then there is the form to submit. Publish the page and uh, now we have this page which um, which is uh, which can be used as a uh, site as a um, for, for new employees so basically all new employees can go to this page and um, review some documents and submit the form so one part is done then we go to the second part the second part would be to build a SharePoint list where we would store the results of this uh, form. So I can go maybe, let's see, we go to site contents and just create a new list. Employee results. Let's create. In, in this list, you can have a column's title is a mandatory uh, column. So title, let's keep it a title. And then we can use um, completed. Yes, so here we have very, only two columns title. Th this will be the employee name and then the, uh, whether this form is completed or not. Uh, then the interesting question would be how do we connect these two things? And for this, we would need to use a flow. We can use a template flow. And 
and here something forms something to do with forms record form responses in SharePoint perfect that's exactly what we need so connections then we need to connect invalid connection why the connection is invalid have to log in one more time okay now it's valid okay so now both of the connections are valid uh, my account connected to Microsoft Forms and to SharePoint okay so this is a template that we can use and I have this form my form is called new employee onboarding I get list of all responses and here I uh, select new employee onboarding response ID then I need to um, create an item in a specific list I can get this list from here so I have the site URL oh, where is my form okay here and uh, we put custom value and then specify this site and then I select the list new employees results this title is title title would be actually the employee address email address and complete it would be have you reviewed onboarding documentation yes so save okay so it's saved now we can run a test the flow starting to run a test and then uh, let's see what happens uh, let's imagine I'm a new employee who goes to the to, to the company and then um, I um, redirected by my supervisor to go to this uh, special site uh, where is my site here so I go to this site and uh, I uh, need to find my page on boarding documents of course it should be done nicer with links and everything with some navigation elements but I just wanted to give you an idea how it would look like so I go here as a new employee review the docu documentation right I, I click on this uh, slide there is only one slide there could be more information and then when I'm done I um, click here have you reviewed your onboarding documentation yes no feedback at the moment or I can provide feedback then I click submit then what happens uh, in this list of course the permissions should be distributed right I'm as an employee should not be able to view this list only the the people who audit my responses and then uh, you see in this list I see who has completed the form and here it says yes uh, so uh, for audit purposes this is would be sufficient we can add columns like you know provide comments etc but you get an idea it's a very very simple way of uh, creating uh, courses and if you saw also in uh, Microsoft Forms this service that Microsoft offers uh, there are things like quizzes so if you you actually have the real you know like a course with a lot of different uh, options there you can um, create the actual quiz and also embed it into a SharePoint page and then it would make it um, would make it uh, simple 
to keep track of. Um, so that's it. It's, it's a very simple way of uh, doing it by using uh, Forms, SharePoint, and, and Power Automate or Flow Service. If you have some questions, please write in the comments and uh, I'll be more happy than help you out. And um, have a great day and happy learning.